Welcome back to the channel, I'm OP, and in today's episode, we will be going over some of the best highlights from the matchup between D plus Kia and KT Rolster during round one of the LCK 2024 Spring Playoffs. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. She ends up getting a kill in that fight, for example, that is the end of the game, basically, for KT with this composition. Don't Muddle do it, Lucid. Oh, he's gonna go in and smite it away and actually hop away. And now, with Showmaker getting the first row, we got a potential play as Ghostit's just gonna have to throw that ult in and leave perfect as now he has pulled the Rek'Sai under the turret, makes the play. And King and going in for the ult knows he can't get out as still does a nice amount of damage, but they're gonna give that kill over to BDD, the Corky first blood. They have just been sticking around there together. And that that is not enough of a lead to start to worry about this area just yet. So. I do agree with you. This is going to be a game that goes long. We traded Dragons. It's a Cloud Soul. Atlas would be proud. And yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a good one. There's oh, the kick play All here for right. Lucid. Trying to make something of this. Piosik does have his flash, so he's just going to get over the wall, but hard to get away from Azeri. There's the ult into aiming. You know that he did go ghost in this game. And will be quite impactful in mid game fights like this. Is BDD desperately trying to rush back with his package as the Dragon has not been started yet. KT do have a good fight opportunity here. Pioshek's still down the flash, but his ult is back up. And Kingen over the wall. Lucid nowhere near the dragon, though. Kingen looking to push them away. And you know what? KT's going to respect it as now. Lucid over the wall. They get on top of Aiming. The package goes in. And Aiming slowed down. Just going to flash away. And the Zeriyumi is so hard to lock down. As we can clearly see here, this fight very broken up at this point already. Kingen getting in on to death. And that's enough damage. Lucid with the assassination. Taking out the enemy in AD carry, but now it's Perfect's turn. But Jerry just has that extra amount of mobility to get over the wall and get away from the Cassante. It's currently a 4v4 still, but you see the health bars of DK a bit low, and now with Lucid out of the fight, it does look like they'll give this one up yeah. for now. There's no way to contest you, even with BDD out of rockets, they won't uh, have fight. Okay, well, Kingen wants to go in alone. He does have a Yumi, and they're trying to take out Perfect. They're gonna get the Cassante. And I guess the fight wasn't over. And, you know, the BDD is out of rockets here, huh. so he's not able to do a ton of damage. Traded back here, and the rockets he is firing are being blocked by Kellen as he detaches on the Yumi. And D-plus will win this narrow fight here by extremely narrow margins. And they went for the Sejuani and then went for Cassante top. And that's the only permafrost you have in this draft, so... Let's feel very strange as Lucid will get caught though. Oh boy, yeah, on vision here, not cleared out, but he does get away the Lee Sin. Just for fighting enough, and I suppose it, it, it wasn't. And I'm not sure if DK really cared too much about it Don't at forget, all. Don't forget, Showmaker can disengage this as well. He's very low on mana though, so he really has to be very careful. All right, Tidal Wave, a bit desperate as now the kick comes in, but BDD is going to get away and. Into the back line goes perfect, but the zoning is in place for DK. Still, the smite is going to go the way of Pilsik. It's a very messy fight. Comes in, Lucid. Not really in position. King and going in as he's got a Zeri and the UV with him to just push forward. And this is what we were talking about aiming. Just has all the room in the world to just sprint at the enemy team. KT, they get the dragon, but they lose the fight in a huge way. Yeah, very poor team fight for KT Rolster. Getting completely outclassed by D plus here. Showmaker never even needed to ult. Wasn't under too much threat. With his Leandre, he's able to burn through Perfect's health bar here. <laughs> and D-plus are going to start the Baron as King in with You're his Tremor sense. Away. Yeah, he knows where you are. You cannot hide. The ground doesn't lie. I mean, he knows you're standing still. <laughs> it's just, you're not going to get away from him for now. I mean, King in, yeah, he's just going to elect ult in. I thought maybe he would just let him go because this will take a while. TP to come and punish this. Um, meanwhile, Baron is taken, just uh, again, to remind everyone. <laughs> yeah, this is going to take a long time, okay? Uh, TP's coming in, and and now maybe you want to give this one away, both Showmaker and BDD. Piece of CC that could even threaten him, as they're going to back away from Baron here. I think D-plus have identified with this itemization, with the back from the Baron here, that exactly what I said moments ago is, if KT win one fight, they're back in the game, so let's just be oppressive, let's play slow. Uh, okay. <laughs> Maybe not Kingen. Right as you mentioned that, Kingen decides to burrow into four people. Josik is going to get in on time. It is incredibly low. They can't quite see it, but now they are going to. As Lucid in the front line taking a bunch of damage, and Lucid has to flash away. Meanwhile, Showmaker pretty low himself as Kingen 
getting into the back line against four people, he will eventually go down, but so will Perfect. So the tanks on both sides, the top laners do go down. Uh, it's on the Baron again. Yep, starting it again. This time we got four members. Uh, still top laners are dead, but teleport's available for both. And the Rocket's focus connecting. coming in. Yeah, yeah. aiming's got to be careful. He's just going to back out of this one. As Kingen is TPing in and gets bubbled, that's not necessarily the angle you were looking for. Thank you for the leash. Maybe it's a flip as the kick comes in, but the damage isn't there. What hell? And Pilsic gets in, and he takes it away. There is the sweep, and aiming is still alive. He is flashing on the enemy team, looking for the kills. The redemption comes forward. And how many kills can he get is really the question. He picks up two as the knockup comes in for Perfect. Maybe able to take out the Seri. Can he get the job done? Another knockup for Perfect, but it's not quite enough. As Deft and Beryl, they stay alive just to keep the hopes of KT here after taking that Baron down. This is the KT D plus Kia series. We knew we were going to get Valdez. Yeah. And, and they're going to lose this in hit regardless. In hit will go down for sure. The question is for on how much are they going to lose this. Lucid goes in, messes it up, and now we have a play onto the Zeri, but again, the Cassante lockdown is not enough, and he's just gonna sprint into five people, takes out Death, and that might just be enough. The kick is huge as Lucid will make up for the former play, and that should be the game. Barrel all alone, and is basically just penta fodder for aiming. Let's see if he does give it over. That's really the only question at this point. DK waiting on the wave to come in, but this game number one, have no mistake, it will go the way of DK as they start off the series very, very strong. They're gonna try to give this Penta over to Aiming. Can he get it down as a bubble? Barrel says no. Barrel, Barrel says, says no. no. Look at Aiming space on the player cam <laughs> as well. They want it so badly, they will take the Nexus instead. I think a worthy consolation prize is D+. Plus. Start the series off with a bang. There's nothing wrong with that, but it does mean that Perfect is feeling great. BD's playing an old favorite here, and playing the Jin Zhao into Vagar can be quite challenging, as when you go in for the engage and you look... Many times they are used to win fights elsewhere on the map. As we know, teleport is very valuable. Um, we do have a bit of a tussle once again up on the top side. Ghost is going to be popped here from Kingen. Actually, they're going to make this happen. Waits for the hop, but the hyper procs are coming in, and Perfect is just going to flash the knockup as Lucid is here. Flash up forward from Lucid, and from no hop, he will go down. First blood given over to Kingen. Give wow. Def, uh, or rather, give Aiming a lot of advanced notice while Koshik is doing. Yeah, as Kulang now going to come forward, Deft eating nearly the entirety of that. And now, with a little bit of a roam down from Showmaker, might come through, but they're going to try to take out the Nami first. Q will miss, but it's not going to matter. Killen flashes and dies immediately. As DK, they were trying to set up a bait here on the Pyoshik, but they will lose their Nami very early on. Can they take out Pyoshik is the real question. As or Lucid just going to throw that ult in early on and will take him out. Now the follow-up here on to Aiming, as Event Horizon will come down and zones everybody away. And he gets kicked the other way, and then they just turn on to Pyoshik, and it's just a one for zero, right? Um, oh, that extension on the stun is going to be huge. The all-out comes out, and Perfect with no Meganar in sight. He's going to try to get away from this one. It's not going to happen. It's now Pyoshik comes on in, and Kingen picks up a solo kill this time around. Really? Yeah. And that does mean that DK are going to try to make a move for this. Let's see when the TPs come in, as it is in the pit, Lucid. Just trying to zone this one away, but it goes to the forest. Death's gonna smite it himself with this Q. As now trying to turn on the Showmaker, the damage not quite there. In goes Pilsic, immediately gets shuffled out. And that might just be the end of this one, although they're trying to chase down King in here. The hook is gonna come in, and Event Horizon will be good enough. They take out the Gassante, it's a shutdown for Pilsic, and KT right back in this game. They want more here, but I don't know about this. Oh boy, the kick over the wall, and Pilsic just gonna flash away from the last little bit of that one. As here comes Lucid thinking about it, but this series just is gonna live up to the the yep. D plus hype, isn't it? It's it's just gonna live up to it. It just it just is. Um, it, to get yeah. away from some of the other forms of CC. There oh, it look is. at that angle! Oh god! And he's gonna hook the wall with Barrel. Otherwise, he was dead. Kind of a sharp angle there. Not really Barrel's fault, but a very nice E there. As another hook does come in, the ult off the Showmaker, but he immediately goes down. It's a trade though. As the mid laner DK goes away, and now King in. He is stuck in the box. And that will be the end of him. A two-for-one in favor of KT. Yeah. Now, Pioshik is still going to look for the steal. 
As he is leaves in, he's got a very nice angle. He's looking for the kick. He wants the kills right into the cage. Goes aiming, and down he goes. As now Lucid is going to be able to pick up the Drake, but it's three kills to the side of KT. A big team fight win for them. Kill for BDD, a kill here. A fourth one for Pioshek, who sets it all up with a kick on to aiming. They want more here. Showmaker does have his ultimate, so this is very tricky to play out. Oh, perfect. He's going to get caught here. Goes a bit early, but okay, finally traded back as the dive is going to go the way of KT eventually, right? Okay, they finally traded two for two. It's a double kill for Showmaker. Yeah, <laughs> not going to name any names that have waited many, many items. In fact, all of the items to just not build it. Uh, but I'm sure he will. Perfect now in a little bit of trouble. Actually, a lot of trouble as the bubble is going to come through here as well. And King is just tanking up the turret. And that is a kill fed over to aiming. I think DK have identified, hey. Perfect does not have TP. There's no way KT can stick this butt. Uh, okay, just run in a straight line. And maybe you avoid it all. But yeah, he's just dead. Crescent Guard not going to save him there. Um, no vision and just desperation. And the NAR, the mini NAR coming on in. and. As you mentioned, no flip because Lucid should not be here. The Event Horizon is placed down. They're looking for the turn now. Kingen is taking it up, and so is Beryl. And guess what? The Cassante is much tankier than the Nautilus. And in the trade, DK will happily take that. Yeah, I mean, that's that's not a farming Nautilus. This is not a Centilane. You're not tanky enough to make that play. Beryl wanted to get on the backside there and potentially grab a carry. Should have it back here in about 10 seconds. But let's see how this one does go in as Lucid, speaking of which, is going to uh, just charge on in as now the hook will be dodged. Pretty hard to lock down the Lucian. Okay, see if this third event horizon is going to be enough to get them something here. BDD should have it in a second. There it is. Ooh, it's going to go the way of Lucid, though, as he does take it down. Meanwhile, it does look like we have a sacrificial showmaker who does take a massive ult to the face. Yeah, he thought he got out of there, but the Vagar ult will get you every time if it's triggered before you slide. Without a miracle here, I mean, Kellen doesn't have ult. Showmaker is down for 20 seconds, even with TP. This is just... A pipe dream. Kellen's going to try, or rather, King is going to try to flank. Yeah, they're going to send it 15 seconds until Showmaker is even alive. As will the seal come through. Lucian goes in. He steals it away. Away from Elise. How does he manage to do that? As the flip comes through. And King, and he's still having some fun on the backside of this one. Eventually he goes down, but merely a Cassante moment. But it's a DK moment regardless. I mean, Lucian. Yes. I mean, Cage here, once again, not going to be too high value. Yeah. It's fine. I mean, it's kind of like Blitzcrank in a way where it might just come down to one giant cage that, like, turns the game. As Culling is actually going to be what gets huge value in this one. You see Lucid did take a huge chunk as well. Some Qs hitting the front line here. And BDD is really beginning to hurt. You know, he had an Amp Tome in his inventory. I was a bit worried, but as you mentioned, he is going for the Death Cap, thankfully. Yeah, well, it's uh, critical. It's not a the carries. So they just gave it away. Question. Okay, um, they're just going to fight instead, I guess. The Chain of Corruption comes through, and Pioshek is just going to get stunned here on the front line. Not going to engage on that one, but now the Gnar into the wall. But that's Lucid on the Shin Zhao, takes zero damage. In goes Pioshek and Barrel once again. But the damage is coming out here from Deft and BDD to push them away. Aiming not quite able to get access to that back line, and now it's Showmaker gone. Does look like DK does not want to follow up on this one. No, the real prize of the dragon, though, is uh, Beryl. Or you could just face check in. That might just work. They're going to trade Cassante for Nautilus. And Beryl will take that. And Kellen looks like he's just fish food at this point in time. He's going to be putting the cage flashes away as a few lands. And once again, in goes Bilshik, but he's going to be taken out by Lucian, who flashes away and gets away from the enemy team. Yeah, they do have a very nice amount of poke if they can get in range. DK currently in control of this bottom river as KT looked to push ahead as it's Deft alone on the backside. He's just being assassinated by aiming, and 1Q will get the job done, and immediately the Varus is just gone. And that should be the Dragon going over to D+, plus on the flank. Yeah, Banana Brush Control on this side is going to go the way of KT, of course, but they're down a member as Aiming is looking to come on in. Pioshek on the flank here, and it might actually work out if Aiming just going to face check this one, and now it's his turn to get caught. The 280 carries just being isolated and killed for essentially nothing. And King and lost half his health bar. Barrow's going in. Oh, he's going in. I'm not sure about that one, but if he can bait a big fight for his team, it might be the answer, but he is being chipped away, and down he will go, but the stun comes in. It's Mikhail's to save King and now Showmaker gets in with the shuffle into that back lane. They take out the Event Horizon. 
player that is the Vagar. And is Death's taken back. Out, but now, Deft is here. Perfect's here. They're on the chase. And Lucid doesn't have it all. He's going to be taken out as... Back to Aiming's ahead. play here, where he sees Deft on the edge, pops his bubble there, yeah, bars, bars, and it goes for the flash. Yeah, bars, bars. He's like, got him, got him. Bars, 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 bars. Got bars. Somebody's got to get vision. They're not getting vision. The damage is being done right now. Look at KT already about to take out the Baron, and DK do nothing about it. They've used two of their trinkets. DK, a little bit more prior than we thought they'd have going into this. Aiming has Cleanse and Scimitar, so he can play aggressively like this. Oh, man. We'll regularly pick this one up, Guma as well, because just a huge amount of poke damage hey. as uh, the cage is already down. The damage is being done. They're just going to take it away. It's Hextech Soul to the side of KT, and it's another objective that D plus P are just going to give away. Hey, yeah, he's, uh, he's hiding on Bush, and this is some of the ways he's been able to get huge plays for his team, but this time it's a Cassante that he finds, not the uh, best target, but it's still enough damage with the Vega at this point in time. And now Perfect on the Meganar looking for the forward play. He's going to get this flash on in onto Lucid, who is caught out and slowed for pretty much forever and has to flash away. Now aiming uh, is dead. Okay, well, that was not the angle he was looking for. That is... That's... <laughs> Is that just game? I think it is, right? No, they, they don't have enough minions. Media's going to push this wave in. They don't have Baron buff either. Showmaker is getting in there desperately trying to keep this wave away from the turret. Uh, but there is a cannon wave, a cannon minion rather, and that should be enough. All right, nice try, Showmaker, to clear that wave. Would have bought them enough time maybe for aiming to come back, but not going to uh, happen. Okay, well, that's the end of him as well, as one by one, the dominoes fall, and KT... They are going to win at this game at number two, and we absolutely have a series all over our hands. And I don't even know what this is going to look like for the rest of it. Who's going to win? Nobody knows, but KT I wins. don't know if I like this one, Valdez. Uh, yeah. Um, and and I'll where he's given R5 counter pick on jungle, and what that does mean is that, yeah, you can see the entire comp on both sides and, and make the best choice. As Bubble is going to come in here, that's a bit rough for Barrel, who might be in some trouble. Now they're just going to go all in as he presses Q towards him and burns him to a crisp. Barrel going to pick up that first blood. You silly D plus bottom lane. He's going to press Q towards him. He's got a heal and an ignite. And yeah, Lucian does a lot, but Rumble does more. Meanwhile, what? In the top side, perfect, coming up with a solo kill. And KT, they say this is our series to win now. Not yet. Is they're gonna contest Scuttle here. Don't know about this. Lucid. Yeah, no. Um Errol just he, he's like, okay, I mean if you really wanna fight me, I'll give you a fight, but he overheats at the worst time. Because we have no flame splitter spitter. And you know, it's okay. I mean they don't get the kill they probably would have. Whoa. Lucid. Lucid's like, I'm trying desperately to hit six. Yeah, I want please, six. Please give me my jungle. Give me some Oh, and the interrupt on the back here as well. Barrel's comet comes through. Piotr's gonna get this dragon. There is no punish here for Barrel. Like, Aiming wants to, but guess what? You don't win this trade! You never do! You, you bubble comes do. in, and uh, nope. Another shield comes in, and Kellen will not be able to trade it back. With the help of the Ignite, and so much farm going by the wayside here. Top side, 20 CS, the advantage. Mm. And man, this, this Nocturne pick just gives you nothing. Nothing to stop top side, nothing to stop bottom, and BDD's just farming. Meanwhile... All right, gonna pull him out of the turret. Isn't enough with the Dominus, but he takes two turret shots. I think it should be with this all out as... No, he's gonna dash away from the Q, and he's totally fine. Ooh, this game is spicy if you're a D-plus fan. You are not happy with how this is going. Perfect has some rage here. Wants to set up for Pyoshik. Yeah, Pyoshik right here. Perfect, pretty low, no Dominus, but maybe the Vi can save him, and the stun combo comes through, and King in will go down. Got him, got him. Got him. He did the gameplay, man. Gold for perfect. 800. Uh-oh. Maybe got a little bit too far this time, Barrel. As finally we see the value out of the Nocturne. Presses his R. Knows that Barrel's powerful. Meanwhile, now he's ganking the top lane. And King, and he's like, wait, what the hell? Why is this guy here? Even casts his ghost. Doesn't matter. He just gets flashed on and killed. Drafted this Nocturne. Yeah, I mean, now you have to pay for it. That's what I was just thinking about too, because they're really gonna have to go back to the drawing board for game four as well. Speaking of which, they are gonna pass that paranoia in onto the Ash, who does flash away, but not enough help here. And now Pyoshik all alone. You see Def trying to help him here a bit. Lucid gets pretty low, and now a TP from BDD. 
He's looking for a bit more. The flush Q and two people caught in the cage, but Cleanse on through from aiming. He's not able to quite do enough damage. Pilchick thinking about it, but it's another kill going the way of BDD. A huge value teleport. And perfect looking for a solo topside. Oh, Didn't even have to TP. Yeah, King and. Is he even going to cast it? Okay, he is. He's going to get him under the turret and. Now goes unstoppable, doesn't matter. Perfect, just way too far ahead in the stop lane. Yeah, so he went Cleaver first. Kingen is just not going to be able to be around him. And also Barrel is bottom right now, by the way. Uh, Kingen? Yeah, I think. Ooh, okay, they're gonna respect it for now. I but mean, that's another turret for Perfect. Safe to just take a turret down and get a big collapse here from DK onto this turret, but everybody on the side of 18 now looking to get on in as the arrow is going to ring true. Death does not miss those. And that is the end of Showmaker. Even going to throw out an Emperor's Divide. They're pinging this. They know that King is in there. But the rest of the team is very far forward as Lucid going to get one flash. But at the end of the day, it's just a dead King on the backside of this one. Now he's made of cardboard and uh, he has burned down. Barrel just pressing Q, and he's like, all right, you think you can get me? I have Flash, by the way, didn't have to use it. Perfect is level 14, and he is sprinting at the enemy team. Meanwhile, Kosik going in, taking a 1v2 and winning. KT are so far ahead at this point in time, as one Q could get the job done, but not going to go into the Azir. Emotional momentum-based team. Oh, this is going to be the arrow here on to Showmaker. Bata, 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 bata. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Four. That's another arrow. Oh, boy, here we go again, and the combo. He's just utilized in Showmaker again. We've seen this before. He's going to use the Emperor's Divide just as like a, a parting gift. He's like, okay, see you later. It was fun hanging out, and now I'm dead. Uh, that's going to be the end of Kellen as well, as DK are really kind of falling apart at the seams. You know? By arrows from depth. He's like, you want to take this fight? Sure, let's go. I don't know about it, though, as he is going to be shut down. And now King is going to pull Pioshik over the wall, and immediately KT giving them some angles back into this one. I don't know why Lucid is here, but I, I've given up on questioning, you know, the logic of certain things in this series at this point. Lucid on Calculated. the run. Woo. Yeah, no, he's, he's dead. Um, yeah, just, just, just flanking. Gameplay, individual player perspective could be rough. Is perfect? Yeah, he knows he's in trouble now as here is aiming and he's fed, he's tanky. Is he tanky enough? I mean, they're TPing into this as well, just to make 100% sure. And aiming will get the big shutdown. You see some pings on Baron, but see how this one goes. They're gonna just try to burst it down, essentially. Aiming on the front line, just trying to burst away Barrel and the culling gets so much value. The Ash Arrow is down and the Equalizer doesn't even get much. And now the peel with the ultimate here from the Nocturne, the Paranoia, and all of a sudden, DK, they give themselves a chance, but now we got a very scary Renekton coming on in as we're just gonna move forward, and the flash is not good from depth. They take out the entire bottom lane of KT. And now it's a 5v3. I don't know if they really wanna go for this one. BDD pretty low as well. KT are still in a really good spot in this game, but we were right in the <laughs> obituary perhaps a little bit too early as D-plus make, D makes some clutch plays, get some shutdown gold here. There's a Nocturne. He, he does not have his ult, but he has Flash, and it's just going to be a flip again, and it goes to the Nocturne again! Lucy going to steal that one away! As, yeah, they're kind of just food at this point, but Kingen going to pick up a kill himself. Over the wall comes Barrel alongside a perfect, but... Gaming has some space now, putting in some damage. The cage is just going to save them, but... And then this year, he has Flash. TP's coming through, they're like, oh, well, we go for it. And once again, Pioshik messes it up. It's the fourth time. And then he's just telling everyone to back off. The Equalizer isn't going to be able to secure any other... All right, well, just going to get the knock up on a barrel. He's dead, and the Equalizer is desperate. The angle here from aiming is beautiful. Alongside of his support, and now King is going to go super deep on this one. In goes Pilsing and Perfect, desperate to take out aiming, but they can't quite do it. Flashing in front of the Q, but this Renekton may be just too gigantic on the back line, going up against Lucid, who barely gets the kill with the Stride Breaker. All right, Deft also in this wins 1v1. In this fight. I mean, the Q comes in. Showmaker. Uh, not going to commit, doesn't look like, but perhaps, you know. <laughs> BDD knows. Yeah, he's like, something doesn't seem right with the Sun Disc turret placed there. Barrel trying to find out about it. The stun comes through. Showmaker, he does more damage to Barrel for now, but he's got to get away from them. Very nice tidal wave from Kellen is going to keep him safe. Plus Lucid turning the lights off. Yeah. No, uh, not enough damage there from Barrel to take him out with the equalizer.
Yep. Sieging, using the Hextech Soul. Barrel looking for an angle with the Equalizer. There it is, gonna hit pretty much everybody in the front line. Nice amount of chip damage just to allow them to push forward. Arrow as well, utilized as immediate Mikhail's comes in. They want to hard engage to DK as the front line is just being melted. Down goes the Vi, and Perfect nearly goes down as well through the Dominus. As right now, Showmaker and Aiming, if they can get in range, they will blow off a target, as we just saw there. Nice angle for him. Just waiting for King to provide a front line, then he joins up with ready to, Paranoia. I'm ready to enjoy the show, Valdez. <laughs> Sit back. Grab the popcorn. I know Chronicler, he brought some popcorn home from yesterday. <laughs> He's just sitting at home, probably munching on that. All right, BDD is just going to push mid. Now that the uh, Sun Disk is expiring. Showmaker spot. A little bit of a game of chicken, but does look like both of them will back off at the same time. Going to be able to get this blue buff globally reset here. KT, they already had it, but now can reset it. And that's going to be a reset on the Dragon as well. Showmaker yeah. is continuing to push, though. They have to be decisive, KT, here. Yep, they're going to start it up. And DK maybe just looking for the flip. That uh, could also be Nexus for Elder. We'll see how far he wants to go. He's not TP and into this one as there is vision in the pit and it goes to the Vagar, as you would expect. And Showmaker, he's still getting to work. They got to stop these backs. I don't think they're going to be able to. BDD TPs out of it and he will just barely be able to save the base. As the Elder go in the way of KT, they will win the fight, and Showmaker here, ooh, getting pretty spicy. I don't think he's going to win through the Elder and the stun, and KT, they just barely get the job done. Another wild and crazy game of League of Legends for KT and D+. We're now up to oh, nine point. of them this season. <laughs> nine crazy KTD Plus games. No normal ones, just crazy ones. Just ones that you are on the edge of your seat gripping tightly. If you're a fan of either of these teams until the very end, you just do not know what is going to happen. KT had the advantage there. D Plus decided to commit to the split push. It's not I enough. Don't think it would be. <laughs> I don't even think it would be that bad. Yeah, it's going to be just a Jax jungle instead, though. Now it's the easy Talia call. This comp is insane. Like, <laughs> so you have all right. Let's let's break it down. Like the, the this is a how fantastic angle. We know that Rek'Sai's gank assist pretty strong. Let's see how they set this one up. Maybe waiting for some cooldowns at the moment, but unsure about where Pyoshik is as well because again the two junglers just totally avoided each other. But now they're going to wait for quite a long time. Perfect's going to get knocked up here and might be in some danger as. Could have maybe even just been a solo kill, to be honest, and it will. It's just going to be a solo kill. King and solo adventure continues <laughs> as he picks up first blood. There you go. Well, I was wondering, as we, we did go into this, will he be able to patch the hole? And so far, the answer is yes. That was a really uh, weird uh, observer vision, but... It's very yep. much on vision. Yeah. And KT don't quite know, although they can easily suspect now. Pyoshik knocked up mid-dash, has to flash, but he is so dead. I mean, there's just no getting out of that one after no dash, no flash, and just punished for a bit of an aggressive invade. Deep down. At the end of the day, um, he's just going to keep coming at you. And now knockup comes in, the ult is available, tries to ghost out of this one. Kingan just says, okay, uh, fine, I'm still winning the trades, I, I don't really care. But now I have your Ghost. Meanwhile, KT on the bottom side of the map. Going to look to try to 4v4 on the Chemtech Drake. This one get could get pretty dicey as Lucid. Not even going to go for it. For it. It's a big sweep from the side of Showmaker. And now the AoE damage is coming on in. And it's all coming up, Kate, or rather DK, in this fight. It's now Barrel very deep in this one. And he will obviously be taken out eventually. Question is to who? Yeah. Yes. yeah, they're just going to give it over to Showmaker. A massive win for DK in the play. Two kills and the Dragon Smite. Oh, as I'll watch Showmaker's Emperor's Divide here as well, as the Dragon is secured. Yeah, he has a flank angle. KT think they can just kite back through Banana, but he says no and dumps them all into the waiting arms of his carries. And Lucid will, of course, go ahead and give this kill. This kill for me. Just saying, just take it. Take it. <laughs> And, uh, and then he gets yeah, it anyway. Yep. He's also screaming, devour me, devour me, after the play. Um, and yeah, there was also a solo kill while this was all happening. So yeah. perfect eyes here to the ultimate coming through from Kingen. Crowd didn't quite catch that one. Yeah, they're like, know. oh, wow. And now he's like, I, I, I can't even stand out of the turret. Yeah, and Yoshi here alone might not be enough with a rotation up from Lucid. Gold card is all he's got. 
Now he doesn't quite have it. Uh, Lucid is here. They're not going to quite dive this one yet as we have Talia on the way as well as he gets uh, kind of bullied here. But now with the Senna help, maybe it's enough. They're going to try to turn this one off to Perfect, who is incredibly low. And again, Kingen is just unkillable. And so BDD moves in and uh, just dies after Showmaker makes his own TP play. And now Perfect is, uh, yep, just going to be sniped by Kingen. That was your only chance as KT. Oh, buddy. I just don't know how much options he's going to have with it. Well, they're going to get the Devour out pretty early on, as now this Tom Kent looks to be in a bit of trouble. Is quite tanky after farming, just flashes away, and now Kingen's here's here. Kingen looking to go 1v3. As, okay, they're going to tempt. They're going to try to do it. The rocket is dodged, and even with another shove here from Kingen, he's at half health. He's totally fine. Now, this is going to give some extra time for Perfect in the top lane, but meanwhile, Showmaker just picks up his fourth He already lane. has Nashers. He does so much damage to that turret. But a gold bottom side as well. It's 12 out of 15 plates. And Kingen is just like, you guys can't hurt me. Uh, well, they're going to try. Um, no, yeah. no, no, no. They tried. That, that's not the way it works. He's ulting back in to three people. He doesn't care. It's now a gold card comes in. And here's Pilsik as well to try to win this one. Is it enough damage? No. Nope. He's going to heal up again. And eventually, I think as the turret goes down, maybe, okay, they finally get the job done. But it's in trade for an inner. They needed four people. They needed four people, and that means aiming and Kellen, and maybe a big Pyoshi kick into a shove. Some magic could happen here, but you're dealing with Showmaker, who's also on two items now on the Sazir. I just don't see it. Well, he's going to try to get it as the sweep comes in, but Showmaker just going to be devoured as well. And he'll be totally fine. Barrel has to flash away from this one. As he goes back in, gets the hook. Do they have the damage? Yes, they do. As now BDD going to trade it back one for one in the support role. Very scary there for the side of KT, but they are able to get that kill onto the Tom Kench. And they continue to see each here. Lucid is on the flank. <laughs> Oh no, BDD, he's getting wrecked side right now, and yeah, he's even gonna get flanked on by Lucid. And they tank up the turret to make that happen. They don't even need to necessarily do this, as now it's gonna be a massive shutdown going into the hands of death. Super tanky here, doesn't have any resources, so let's see how tanky he really is. It's gonna take a while to do this. I mean, they're gonna try to burst down the TP turret, and they get it down, but the TP does come through from the side of Kingen. It's a 4v2 at this moment, as Kingen up against the wall, he couldn't do anything, he couldn't move, and that's gonna be the end of Kellen. But it doesn't matter, because your entire base is getting killed. Yeah, I mean, this is just a push to inhib. They got the inner turret here in bottom as well. Uh, See, uh, it's basically just... Tug of war. Yeah, in the enemy jungle here for DK. And now they're going to look for Barrel, who does not uh, have a pull into the wall, it seems. Now he's going to use it, but he's already dead. So that's the end of him. And that's what happens when you choke out vision. Now they can someone use... gets caught. You can use the Sun Disc turret to control this top side and then move towards mid. Yeah, you see Kingen over the wall, just here to zone, and uh, Pyosik doesn't really have an end. He's going to go in onto the Tom Kench and gets devoured and just held in the mouth for quite a while, and uh, that should be the end of that. Pyosik desperate. Nice little kick there to potentially save him, but who am I kidding? There's a Rek'Sai who does get into that back line, and he's flashing on top of the Jinx as well, who is not going to get excited. As over the top, here comes the Jax, and that just might be the nail in the coffin. We'll see how many kills they do get on the back of this side, or this fight rather, as BD on the kite is not good enough, as even the gold card will be denied of the saving of the lives. As now DK going to push it to the top side, and we will have our silver scrapes. There we go. That's all it takes. A nice attempt there from KT, all things considered. Perfect avoids death, tries to set up the gold card, but they are just hit over the head by the 11,000 gold lead, the wallets of D+. Too heavy in this one, an oppressive early game, the lost lane for perfect, bottom side of disaster, and Showmaker coming up big, finally waking up in this series. And D+, as you say, will bring us to five games. The prophecy foretold a fifth game. I mean, Ballista. Ballista also. <laughs> and I mean, even the Xinjiao, you could make an argument Same. for it, but like, the, the three big ones are the Alistair, the bottom side jungle, and KT immediately know this. Okay, Kyoshi coming over, BDD. Oh, he's gonna flash, but he flashes and immediately gets chained up 
And the shocked Timo says it all. First blood given over to Lucid. And uh, I think they had vision of him putting down the control word here, Lucid, but not really going to be able to uh, contest this. So Piochik just going to the top side of the map. And King Ed plays it safely, uh, knowing his team is doing the bottom objective. And will just back and be totally fine. But the Alistair can't really do too much uh, in the early levels and will get rooted by the Nico if he tries to engage and give the Kalista advantage. So not much that Barrel can do here as Piochik is found. Jumping Very awkward survive. spot for him. I mean, there's just no escape. He doesn't even flash. He's like, no, I'm, I'm just, I'm caught. I'm dead. And he accepts it. And that's another kill into the hands of Lucid. Real. Poke also is going to be an issue later on with the range that they have in this comp. Plus, they have great engage with Nico. Imagine a Nico ult into an Emperor's Divide from Showmaker. We've seen it before with yeah. Rel, and uh, he just steals that one away, and it becomes so easy. It could be done All with right, R. Perfect. Can you sniff this one out? The answer is for now, he's just going to flash and hop away, and maybe it's enough. But here goes Showmaker from the mid lane, and this is a mini NAR without hop, without flash. And he gets slowed up, and he is just absolutely dead. Another pickoff from DK in this early game. Such a confident taps, but very bizarre call there, and will be punished very easily by uh, the Emperor's Divide. And now, perfect flashes early, and Showmaker is on the roam. No deny from BDD, no Emperor's Divide, nothing to stop this uh, Silas from coming over. And Showmaker didn't even have hijack there. It was still on cooldown, just need it. See the fans very happy. And at the end of the day, <laughs> uh, you know, Jonas Strong might be wrong. Larger leads is once again perfect. He's no trouble. flash. All out is available. He doesn't have Meganar. This is just, this is free. I mean, there's just no way to get out of this, really. Orange and, buff. Yeah, orange buff making his return. Okay, well, this is one way. Delay and get some TPs. Now we got a TP in from Showmaker as well. And BDD's like, oh, God, why did I even come up here? <laughs> this, uh, you know, at least he'll get the TP out of Showmaker, I guess. Kind of drafting we want to see from D plus on a consistent level. Just pull into the pocket picks of Showmaker more often as BDD in trouble. Oh, here we go again. Kicked immediately into the Pop Blossom. He goes down. And again, it's all set up by Lucid and BDD doesn't even have time to flash. And just goes down. BDD just instantly kicked to his. Still a relatively close game. DK in the advantage, but KT set up on the Drake. Can they make it happen is really the question. Lucid spotted on the flank as now the Chain of Corruption does come down. Immediately, Fate's Call going to be used pretty early on here. Lucid on the flank. Pilsic getting low. They're going to use the Fate's Call. They get Lucid into the back line, but Pilsic is already dead as the knockout comes in at a death. Perfect has to flash away. And that should be an easy smite going the way of DK on this one. As, okay, they'll eventually do it. There you go. And now looking for a bit more, they get the chains in onto Deft as now he's hopping away for dear life. But there's a Lee Sin who is in the thick of things, gets the slow down, and BDD desperate to get away from this one. But he will also be taking out DK, take a big fight win. And the only reason leave RSN already, this is gonna leash. That is not a great scenario. We do have Megan R timing here. Let's see if KT can get a pick because that's what you have to do. I mean, you have to push on to Showmaker, but because he has the Alistair ultimate, I don't think you kill him. Now trying to find Kellen, but that's a fake. And they've just lost full control of Snar ultimate, uh, getting very little. Okay, well, that's perfect alone. I mean, Kellen is going to get pretty low, and in fact, has to flash away from this one. Kind of an awkward spot for him BDD. to get caught on. BDD on this flank, too, wants to make a heroic stand on this dragon. Yoshik has not been winning these smite wars. Both these teams are playing this so slow, so carefully. King and now he's taking a decent amount, but a huge piercing arrow comes through and goes to Lucid on the lease and he's going to pick it up and Showmaker just going to enter the fight. Now he's going to miss the chains, but he is unkillable, flashes on a death and will take him out. BDD is all alone. In goes Piochik, he dies as well, and DK are so close to taking this game in this series. And KT will have to respond to that when the Elder spawns. If we get to that point, if they don't die in the next 2.30, that's what I'm saying is KT, they're under so much pressure. Yeah, they're just going in for this one. Look at the damage out of this Silas. It's insane, and he's unkillable because he has a breakable will. Yeah, and he's, he just continues to take this Alistair ultimate and get huge value out of it. It's the best one. And BDD doesn't want Empress Divide there here to complete this back. But even if you do that, if it's a flip, Lucid's winning the flips. Well, this is not what I meant. Uh, <laughs> Piltic is going to get caught out, and he flashes, and he doesn't have Crescent Guard. He is dead. And there's, I mean, now he doesn't have Flash. Uh, and 
And Liu can't catch anyone. D plus Kia on the doorstep to winning in this first match of the playoffs. And they're taking their time with it. They do not want to overstep. Stacking these waves here. They have the Elder as a backup win condition. Koshik, no flash. Look at how low he's got. Oh, no. BDD. BDD just tries to send it. He gives it at all. His all, but it is not quite enough. Showmaker is underneath the turrets, and he does not care because he still has that Alistair ultimate. This game is over as D plus Kia will be moving on to the next stage of the double elimination bracket here at the Huri Bank playoffs. As down will go the Nexus, this best of five goes to D plus Kia. Showmaker the first to stand up with his team. People chanting his name and chanting the name of D+. Plus. These were some of the best highlights from the LCK 2024 Spring Playoffs matchup between D+, plus Kia, and KT Rolster. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.